Good afternoon, this is the uh, second part of our landed cost edition uh, and uh, on this demo what we're going to be doing is looking at how to change the cost of an item and then perform a roll up using the standard cost worksheets and uh, create an evaluation journal on the back of that. So open up nav and I'm in the purchasing agent role. What I'm going to do, I can search for the actual worksheet or I can then find it on my role sensor. So if I just search for the expected item cost worksheet, click on that link and what it will do, it will open up my, uh, a worksheet for me to calculate the current item costs. What I'm going to do is choose populate worksheet. Now I can either filter to an item that I specifically want to change or I can just leave it blank so it looks through all the items that have got expected cost against. Also what we've got on the bottom here, we can then look at the expected cost type uh, and at the moment all I want to do is change the freight cost of those items. So if I now choose OK, now we'll then go away and then retrieve the items for me. Okay. So the item that I'm actually going to concentrate on is called the PBO1234. And what I'm going to do now is put a new default cost for the actual freight. So we're now going to change that to 0.5 and all we're going to do is implement the changes. So if we click on the implement cost change, choose OK, it will then go away and then it's been implemented. All the other items on this list should not have been changed because there's no changes to their costs. Choose OK. If we then look at the item itself, we can then drill onto the actual item card, the expected cost other, and we can see our freight charge is now 0.5, whereas before it was 0.25. Choose close. As with uh, standard nav, what we now need to do is perform a standard cost worksheet because we actually have stock against that item. So we're going to search for the standard cost worksheet. And again, you can either choose the default worksheet or create a new worksheet batch to actually perform the calculation on. So, open up the worksheet, we'll then choose roll up standard cost. And to make things a bit quicker, all I'm going to do is actually enter my item that I'm looking at. Make sure we have the correct date, and then choose OK. So, Again, this is all standard nav. What we will notice is that the standard cost was £11.25. Because we've now put on 25p, it has changed to a new cost of £11.50. So all we're going to do now is implement the standard cost changes. we we'll choose implement standard costs. Make sure you get the correct posting dates. Make sure you have a document number and we're going to choose the correct evaluation journal as well. Choose OK. Standard nav will return the message that the costs have been updated and our evaluation journal has been created. Choose OK to that message. And what we can see on that line, we have now got a tick against the implementing field. We'll choose OK. And then if we search for the evaluation journal, what now would have done, again, it's all standard features. It would have looked at the cost or looked at the quantity that are currently on hand, and then it will give a new evaluation based on that new cost that you provided. Again, it is up to you if you actually want to post that evaluation or leave it as is. So on this purpose, all we're going to do is choose post. Press OK. And then we'll have a quick recap on the item again just to see what the change has been made. If we drill onto our inventory, and then if we look at our value entries for the latest, uh, for the purchase receipt that we was doing earlier, we can then now see we have a revaluation of £2.50. And that it is for the changing of the cost of the standard cost items.